Hello everybody, my name is Ms. Nicole and I am a Youth Services Librarian with the Garcia Library. Welcome back for another Little Steamers video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a way that you can introduce coding to even our littlest of learners. This activity does not require any screens or internet access. It's totally, completely screen free, but it's a fun way to start getting your little ones to think about coding and algorithms and sequencing. So for today's activity, what you're gonna need is some egg cartons, some scrap paper of any kind. I'm using some construction paper scraps, a figure of your little one's choice to be their character. I have a little Lego figure here, but you can use really anything that they wanna use as their game piece. And then this, this is completely optional, whatever you decide to choose, but you also wanna have some kind of reward or some kind of objectives. I have some pieces of candy as my reward for the game, um, but you can also just use another, like a different color paper or another object, something that you wanna get your character to go towards. All right, now that we have all of our supplies, let's get started with showing you how to do this fun coding game. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your egg cartons and split them in half to get rid of that top part, and then also get rid of that closure part that would join the two parts together. Then lay out your egg cartons into a grid. The more egg cartons you have, the bigger the grid, so definitely worth trying it that way. Then you're gonna take out your scrap pieces of paper or whatever you're gonna be using for your barriers or your lava, your do not go areas, and you're gonna place that randomly around the grid. Then you're going to take your rewards and do the same thing. So these rewards are where you want to get your character towards. So just keep that in mind when you're placing your objects. Then you are also going to want to, if you feel you like you need to, add more barriers. And then you're going to grab your player or your character or your token, your game piece, whatever it is, and place that at the start of the grid. And then you're going to sit down and ask questions about how am I going to get my character to the rewards? Which ways do I need to go? So you can do this by just moving your character, or you can write it on a piece of paper or write it on sticky notes like I'm doing here. I'm using arrows to kind of help plan out where I want my character to go. So as you can see, my character needs to move forward or to the right three and then up one and then over to the right again to get to my first reward. And you're going to want to repeat this process for every time you want to try to get to your next reward. And it's going to help your little one understand the directions they need to take, the sequence and the algorithm to get to from point A to point B. I hope you had a lot of fun with today's Little Steamers activity, the egg carton coding game. I had so much fun thinking about how to get my character to the different rewards and then how to get them out of the grid. Um, it's a lot of fun to just kind of let your little ones start exploring those different techniques, having them pause before they start an action, having them really think about how to get from one point to another point. And all of that is really great for beginning coding skills like sequencing algorithms and thinking through your code. So I hope you enjoyed today's program. For more Little Steamers programming and other library programs, please visit our website at www.grundylibrary.org or check out our social media pages. Thank you so much, and I can't wait to see you for our next video. Goodbye.